Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary and this is Rosemary's You Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Know that I truly appreciate all your love and support. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Well, I was invited to do this tag by Life with Patty. And it is, uh, what is on your craft table tag? And I believe it was uh, originated by Dahlia and her channel is, uh, let's see if I say this right, Mandali Cards and More. So uh, I guess that's who came up with this tag. And I thought, oh my gosh, what a fun thing to do. So I thought I'd go ahead and do this video now. Just as, just as a little bit of a heads up, my craft table does not look like everybody else's craft table. I've been watching uh, this what's on your craft table tag by a lot of people and I'm like, oh my gosh, how fun. But because I'm visually impaired, my craft table does not look like everybody else's. So here it goes. I'm going to kind of go down here and this is my craft table. This is my workspace. I will go into detail about it. Now, because I am visually impaired, I cannot have a lot of stuff around me and a lot of stuff out. Otherwise, I would never get anything done or and never find anything. So whatever project I'm working on, I pull that stuff out and it does become a massive mess. But uh, that's all I have on my table is what I'm working with at the time. And again, there's stickers, there's gems, there's flowers, there's paper all over the place. So um, so when I'm working on a specific thing, that's how it looks. Okay, so my craft table is a table that I purchased at uh, Simply Amish. They are friends of ours, and it is a beautiful, beautiful table. I do have it covered with this plastic vinyl that I purchased at Walmart. Otherwise, my beautiful table would be a disaster. Uh, there's glue on the vinyl, there's paint, and it doesn't come up anymore even though I try and try. It just does not. And then I have this glass craft uh, surface and it's the Tim Holtz glass. And it's it's great when I'm painting. So up here, this is an, um, an easel or a, uh, I guess you call that, and that's where my iPad sits when I'm filming my videos, right there. Um, also have this desk lamp and then this floor lamp that matches it. And those are positioned that way when I'm uh, doing my videos. When I'm crafting, they are angled down towards the table. And so I get plenty of good light. Over to the left of me, there's my Cricut. And uh, it is covered by that uh, tailor-made cover that my husband ordered for me there is Fred oh he's so he's sleeping he's always sleeping right there on my uh, Cricut uh, that was sent to me by my dear dear friend Linda at Linda's thrifty life oh I love him he's so adorable and cute right next to it there's a little pillow that says you rock and that was given to me by my dear dear friend Kim so I'm going to go across the table and on the left corner, I have this little carousel and I did purchase this at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to turn this other light on for just a second. Maybe it'll help that situation. Nope, not really. Let me turn it off because I don't like the glare. Okay, so this little carousel that holds all my pens, pencils, markers, blah, 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 uh, I did purchase at Hobby Lobby. So here are all my um, Sharpies, different colors of Sharpies. Love those. This is a used um, Dollar Tree uh, gift card, and I use it to uh, cut washi tape to get a straight edge. So I use that. Right here are gel pins that were in a nice pack from Sam's Club. There's metallic, glitter, and regular gel pins had those for years. These are another set of brush 
markers. They have dual tip, so a variety of colors of those markers. Here's just, in general, kind of different pens and um, pencils that I just reach for kind of often. And I love, love, love gel pens. That's what I love the most. Colored pencils. And then here's some of my favorite markers. These are from Dollar Tree. And I love, love these markers. Uh, these are probably, I think, some of my favorite markers. They're... Um, uh, they have glitter in them, and they're they're really, really nice, so I have the full set of those. Back here are four highlighters from the M&M store, blue, yellow, pink, and purple. Uh, these brush tip, marker, brush tip uh, pens from Dollar Tree, they have like a brush on at the end of them, so I have all of those. I don't see them right off, though, but there's a white one and a red one. And behind there, here... Here's another set of those brush tip markers. This is what they are. Uh, let me see if I can turn this around. These ones here. I just had an extra one of those, so I thought I'd stick it right in there. Uh, these are the colored pencils I got at Dollar Tree. I thought they were really nice. I have, have it, I, I've used them, but I put them back in the package. Some black pencils. Let's see what these are. I'll show you. Uh, let's see if you can read those. I'm not sure if you can. I think they're artist pencils. Let's see what else I have in here. Uh, my reading glasses, which are specialized reading glasses. So they were made specially for me. And then that, and that's it. Okay, so what are in the little teeny weeny little drawers? They're so cute. Uh, I have clips, little clips different sizes. Uh, let's see. Oh, paper clips. More paper clips. Um, oh, these are the little brads that my friend Eugenia sent me. And a couple of the shaker pocket heart shape ones. So I have a couple of those, not too many. And, oh, this adhesive glue residue eraser. Love this. Love this. And then I have a couple of little uh, spoons. So when I am taking glass beads out of a container, I use these. So I have a couple of those in there. And let's see, it's another... Oh, these pen and pencil grips. I use these when I'm diamond painting because I need a thicker grip on my pen, my diamond painting pen. And that is it. Okay, there is the famous bell. Mm-hmm. And then here is this little uh, container. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, that Eugenia painted and uh, made for me. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Look at that, how beautiful it is. Oh, I love this. It's beautiful. And in it, she um, also painted the inside. But inside, there's these um, flowers that my other dear friend sent me uh, and those are fun for projects uh, Janet sent me those okay right here is this trinket tray I'm going to take everything out because there's not much in it and I'll show you what I have I don't know what this is for but it's a little rubber piece and I thought oh, I'm not going to throw it out um, this is the trinket tray my husband gave me for um, our 22nd anniversary. Isn't that fun? I love it. Okay, I'm going to put that little piece there because I don't know what it is. In it, I have these two mason jars that Michelle Hawkins sent me. I'm going to be doing a project, so I needed them out, so I'm going to do that pretty soon. Uh, you guys might have seen this on a project share. I made that, and that is for my dear, dear friend Irene, whenever I get an opportunity to mail something to her because she is out of the country. A bookmark that I was sent by Janet and another bookmark that Janet made. Isn't that beautiful? I keep it out because I want to do something like that. And Thelma Hall sent me this pen. Pen. Isn't that cool? I love it. Okay. On my toolbox, I have this magnetic container and it has clips in it. So whenever I'm making cards and I need something to stay together as it dries, I use these clips. So, and they are in this magnetic container you can get from Dollar Tree. 
And because my toolbox is metal, it stays. These are more uh, uh, magnets. This I just hauled yesterday. I love it. My husband's going to get me another magnetic hook for that instead of the magnets. I love this because as I'm sitting right here, I can read that. And I and as I'm filming and uh, uploading, I need to know what date it is. Here are all my Cricut tools plus. So let me show you what I mean by plus. So these are all my Cricut tools. This is a pair of scissors by Crafter Square. Now guys, I know a lot of you love these for fussy cutting. I do not like these scissors. I don't like them. I'm not a fan. I have a small hand and let me see if I can show you. When I am fussy cutting, I cannot get my hand out of there. And so it just, it just, they don't fit my hand well. Now I do like these and I believe they were from Jot. I do like those. And then these are my favorite, favorite scissors. They are my Cricut scissors. I lost the cap. I've searched high and low and I cannot find the cap. So that is, oh, and I have this light from Harbor Freight. It is magnetic also. And it has, I say it's magnetic, but it's not wanting to stay. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's magnetic, see? And it also has a clip, a little hook that you can, so I use that, but right now my battery's dead, so. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> that is what is on my desk, on my craft table. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I would love to know if any of you want to know what are in these two carts. I want to share with you detail of what's in there and let me pan around what is in this toolbox, this blue toolbox, and what is in this toolbox. I have a lot of goodies. So if you're interested in seeing what is in my carts and toolboxes, let me know below. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Patty, for inviting me to do this tag. I had a blast doing it. So until next time, stay safe, stay happy, stay positive. And until next time, here we go. You rock.